Hi Church, I want to say a big thank you to you all from Anne and I. It is such an honour to be leading you guys and thanks for having such great hearts for things of God and such a great passion to see uh, His mission, His plans and purposes fulfilled through us. I just thought I'd take a moment to do things just so you've got them in your thinking. If you are contributing or wanting to contribute to the chairs, this is the last weekend that you'll have opportunity to do that because God willing, the chairs will be here next week. So if you are giving and contributing towards this and you're sowing into that field, then make sure that you make it not just about the money. Give each seat a name of someone that you are believing to see them come to faith. The other thing is the Ghana Medical Center. You know, we're at the, right on the wire of this and we, we want to get this thing finished for the Ghanaian people so that uh, children don't have to die from preventable diseases. So I'm going to ask you if you would pick up a, a form by clicking on the link that's attached to this and then ask some people in the world around you that's in business because they're coming up to tax time whether they would donate a thousand dollars towards uh, the medical center and it's a tax deductible gift. So if you could help us with that, that would be awesome because we want to see this finished as a blessing to the Ghanaian people. Don't forget that uh, Rick and Martha from New Hope Christian College will be with us in July and they'll be running a couple of intensives. Uh, this is a great opportunity to invest in yourself. It is so rare to get uh, such world-class biblical teachers on our side of the world, but we've got them once a year. They come in and help us. So I'm encouraging you. Rick's talking on your kingdom come. Martha's talking on the development of women in leadership. $45, fantastic price on this, but a great investment into your spiritual development. And the final thing is, on July 17th and 24th, is our missions uh, two weeks that we're having. And this is where we get to look at the whole faith promise for 2, uh, 2 10 to 11. And I, I just ask you to pray with us now over this next few weeks that if there's anything else that God wants to gather in as part of our faith pro promise, that the uh, Holy Spirit will just bring it in over the next few weeks. Now, when we started this year, the total of our... Um, what we thought the mission thing for that season would be was $179,000.90. Now, Ruth is right down to the cents. Now, the question is, that's what we felt as a leadership call. Then we ask everyone to put their faith promise in. Now, how much did we faith promise together? Well, I'll tell you how much we faith promised together on the 17th. And then the next question is, how much did God actually do through us of what we thought from a faith promise. Everything about this is in faith. And on the 17th, I'll reveal to you, well, you know what we originally thought. I'll reveal to you what we thought together as from a faith perspective and what God actually did through us. Very exciting. We're just going to celebrate what God has accomplished throughout this last year. And then we're going to start to dream and look at what's going to happen between 210 to 11. The sort of things that we're putting before God to say, Lord, we're believing you for this. This is where we feel you're leading us. And Lord, we're just going to trust you that you'll outwork it again. So I uh, just wanted to say that to you, remind you about that, and uh, look forward to just seeing what God does in the future. Thanks for being an awesome church. Uh, Anne and I love you very much. And I know God is well pleased in how we're journeying. So keep on doing what we're doing because we do what we do because we understand that whoever finds God finds life. See you guys.